Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Metroid Fusion. In the last episode, let's see, where would we leave off here? Uh, I think we're in Sector 1, yeah. We've, it says we only played for like 30 minutes, or 13 minutes. Uh, so let's see how far we can get in uh, today's episode. I'm hoping that we could probably make it uh, to uh, um, what is it called? Sector 2. Oh. It would help if I don't hit the wrong buttons. I forgot I'm not that. Ah! Know why I'm nervous? Ah! Wasting uh, ammo here. Ow! All right, I think that should get us uh, back up to full health and full rockets. So now we're gonna take on our second kind of boss here. go so got the second one now we got the charge beam that's uh that's gonna be really good um so now we can actually do a little bit more damage to our uh our enemies here and uh I do remember correctly, right here, should be a little secret area. Ow. Ow. Apparently I'm just, uh... There we go. Now we got a little bit of a tank increase here. And so with uh, the tank increase, we should be able to uh, get... Uh, should be able to use our charged attack to uh, take this down. And we don't have to use so many rockets. There we go. And now we have all the stabilizers done. Now that we have this done, let's, uh... So we're gonna pop our hair in, head into here real quick, and, uh... So I think one of the things that you have to do on this, uh... This challenge to get the, uh, the 100%, you have to, uh... Everything unlocked in all of the, the the sectors here. Sorry, I had a little bit of a brain fart there. Um, oh, you are a big boy. There we go. <laughs> so we can't go in there quite yet. Right? We don't have, uh... No, we don't have any thing unlocked here. So, that's fine. 
just top off everything real quick here. And I think we should be good to head back here. Let's see. Atmospheric stabilizers online. But many X have already made it to the Uctor. But many X have already made it to the other sectors, it seems. In particular, Sector 2, TRO, the tropical inhabitants shown abnormalities. I suspect the X has entered the sector with the help of our unseen saboteur. He or it may be in Tro now. Samus, get over there. We need to put an end to this. Start moving. I'll brief you at the Tro navigational room. Alright, so. So now we're going to get into uh, Sector 2. As I listened to the briefing, my thoughts turned to Adam. The real Adam understood me well. He wouldn't he would end orders by saying any objections lady he knew i wouldn't disagree that was just his way of noting our trust i wondered if i can trust this computer too all right so sector two now it's a relatively small sector i think the first trip in he in here is Navigation room. We'll download the the map here. I have learned the identity of our mysterious saboteur, Samus. It's an X mimicking you. It's a. I have named it the S A X. I believe the S A X came from the capsule containing your infected suit parts. I it used a power bomb to escape the quarantine bay. That explosion breached the capsules containing all the X that started this disaster. But the SAX is definitely our biggest worry right now. The SAX is mimicking you at full power. You can't face it. If you see the SAX, just run. Don't think about fighting. You are still very vulnerable to cold and unexpected side effect of the Metroid vaccine. Like Metroids, you can be frozen by an ice beam. Of course, the SAX is armed with the ice beam. Stay away. If you see it, just run. HQ says they have a bomb data ready in the data room. Bombs will help you find a way out if the SAX traps you. The data room is here, but it's sealed by a level 1 hatch. You'll have to find the security room and release the level 1 locks. But... Per safety precautions, it's not marked on the map. You'll have to find it on your own somehow, Samus. So first find the security room and unlock level 1. Hatches then go to the data room to get that bomb data. Keep an eye out for the SAX. So the SAX is a super powerful, super intimidating boss and if uh, if we can we are going to avoid that thing like the play oh that's not fantastic I won't be able to okay well we're gonna have to remember that to so come back for it later. do remember correctly the uh thing is over here all right so we'll get uh these unlocked 
really quickly. data room, or the security room, I should say. And we will now give us access to level one. All right, so level one now unlocked, which means that we uh, should be able to get to the data room pretty easily. What is it here? Nothing. Ouch. I think I wasted enough things. I must not have the uh, correct thing for it. Which is fun because... This is where we need to go. So we'll get our little bombs here. And I don't know if See what this uh see where this goes real quick here. To a save room. Okay. So we don't need anything from here. Alright. Like I said, hopefully we can get out of here pretty quick. attention to what I'm trying to do here. Ooh, that almost turned out a little bit bad. I do need a lot of health. Okay, we're gonna wait until he is like there and then Definitely, like, drop 
in on one of uh, the uh, the bugs there, and then you have no way of Definitely a way. But we'll we'll come back. No. We'll we'll keep going this way. Let's just see. Okay, so it just leads to a safe point. We're not quite there yet. Not quite there to, uh, needing a safe point. Okay, so we do need to go up. Dead in there. Back up to almost full. Well, oh, we're at full health now. So, uh, come on, get me up, get me up. Okay. I don't want to go in here yet. what's on the other side of this uh, save point.
lot of them. Okay. So we got that. So I guess we're going down now. To another boss fight, I do believe. Ooh. Oh, I remember how to. I yes. It's this one. No, not the next one. This one. We have a uh, little bomber thing right here that drops us down into here. Get wrecked, nerd! Is or is it just ah? It's this one. So this boss is a little fun sometimes. So the way I like to do this one is I just hold the uh, the charging beam. And uh, the whole time while it's like hopping around and I bounce back and forth, I wait for it to do its little pause, and sometimes you will miss. But I like to save my. Uh... I like to save the, uh, the rockets for when uh, we uh, have to take down the X core. Should be. I think one more should do it. There we go. No, one more. There we go. And the X core is super fun because. There we go. So now we have a high jump and a jump ball. So. And I hate doing this to where I leave a little area of the map un discovered, uh, but unfortunately we, uh, we have to, we have to do it this way, that's what I need, ow, never really got this whole thing that uh that the SAX has its little like sphere of um, light around it as it's going around but we don't have that we 
you never have. kind of gets me on a good little point here of where I want to be. But before we do that, I want to uh, since now we have this, we can uh, easily jump this. Normally, I I, I like to uh, wait until I have the uh, little ice beam to get that, but I was kind of hoping that it'd be more energy, but unfortunately, it's not. So let's. See what um, the computer has for us now. Samus, we've got trouble. Releasing the security lock may have been a bad idea. The SAX has invaded the water environment in Sector 4, Aqua, with several thousand X. With the blue hatches active, the SAX slipped in easily. The creatures and systems in Sector 4 are already showing multiple irregularities. I'm currently investigating. I'll keep you in the, I'll brief you in the navigation room when you arrive. Now head for Sector 4. Okay, so we'll get to um, Sector 4, get the little brief on it, and then uh, I think this is where we're going to wrap up. The SAX, an enemy with my strongest abilities, but does it have reason? Probably not. It's just a killing machine. In my current state, I can't face it head on. The SAX is me, only heartless. I must stop it before it learns its potential and threatens the universe. Now we're going to head into Sector 4, Aqua, which... I think has one of my f more favorite bosses in this game. So we've got the download done. This sector has taken more damage than expected. I knew the X were powerful and destructive, but still, this seems to be purposeful. With certain... We certainly can't rule out the possibility that the SAX has a higher degree of intelligence. I find the X fascinating, especially this SAX. But I, dis I digress. This sector is home to a very large creature the researchers call Sirius. It is capable of moving and attacking at ultra-high speeds, the more senseless and widespread destruction here may be attributed to Ceres. No doubt the SAX released it, but I can't be sure why yet. Ceres has, return, has returned often to the breeding tank here. It's a natural behavior it must be go to go back to it periodically. It's a valuable specimen, but you only have been authorized to terminate it if you don't. It may invade other sectors. While you're moving, be careful. Some broken power nodes have electrified the water. 
but we can't cut, a cut the power. Doing so would affect the whole station adversely. If you touch the water, you'll be electrocuted. Conserve energy as you go. All right, so I think right here is where we're going to end off this episode. Uh, in the next one, we're obviously going to be continuing the story and trying to see if we can get the health and missiles and everything up to date so that we can actually stand a chance when the time comes and we have to fight the SAX at the end of this game. If you've enjoyed this, please like, comment, and share. I do enjoy reading all of the comments. If there's a couple of power-ups that I forgot in any of the sectors that you know of, um, please let me know down in the comments down below. And uh, the next time we get into those sectors, I will make sure I hit those so that we can 100% this game. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.